mill. Yeah. I did karate for two years. I looked worse. <laughs> I never did anything for your body. But let me understand something. <laughs> Seriously. After you have two kids, yeah. your body's a mess. It is, yeah. And don't you laugh at these women who say they can't get into shape? I mean, I'm looking at 12 you. Twelve years later, they're still saying that's the baby fat? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I had to work out from nine to five every day for three months. And most people don't have that. And I got paid for it, sort of. Um, actually, it probably wasn't paid for that part. But, um, you know, so, I mean, that's that's a lot of working out. I mean, most people can't fit that in. Between. But, but you know you're good looking because I'm looking at the list of guys you dated even before you got married. And it's I'm, impressive. I'm, maybe it's not all true. All Let's right, not run wait. through it. Run through it, tell me if it's true or false. <laughs> no, stop. John Cusack? Yeah, we did. Date, yeah. Isn't he gay? No. He, no, he's not gay at all. He's not? No, he's he was not. gay. <laughs> no, no. You like not. effeminate men. No, he's not gay. John Cusack, you consider effeminate? I do. Oh. I do. The man I is a big, that. giant, like, 6'3", Irish-American hunk of a man. You're 5'11". You need tall dudes. Yeah, I do, probably, yeah. 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 You need a man, like, 6'5". Yeah. Yeah. Maybe with dark Who works hair. in radio. <laughs> Who works in radio. Who works in radio. That could be kinky with all your Hollywood <laughs> friends. They're like, oh, guess who she's with now, that He's freak. He's into chicken rescue. <laughs> right. He's into chicken rescue. <laughs> You and Cusack are dating now? No. No. Oh, good. I'm not dating anyone right now. Of course not. I think you need time to recover. I think I might, yeah. You just need a friend to talk to. I just need a shoulder to cry yeah. on, Howard. We're going to handle that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> you just leave me your email. <laughs> Robert De Niro? No, but we're very good friends. Never did him? No. You swear to God? I swear to God. Because I don't... That's, that sickens me. Why don't you talk to Bob about it? I will. I know Bob. Yeah. Sure. I'm doing. I'm going over to Iraq with him. To attend the really? troops. Yeah. <laughs> Does he know Richard Gere? See, if you're into a Richard no, Gere, no, never dated Richard Gere. You didn't. No, but we're friends. Small penis, anyway, right? I don't know. You into the whole Buddhist Have thing with him? Have you seen his penis? Uh, yeah. Really? In a movie? Yeah. Oh. He was. Why did he show his penis? I don't know. There are a lot of guys you have to. I am that into about. the guys showing their penis. Really? Absolutely. But do you? The need women have to do this and that. I think any guy who like shows his penis on, on in a movie gets my you know ben, my round. Do you hold on, Gary. Remove my pants. Work against a guy. <laughs> yeah, you saw, you saw the that? movie Breathless. You're right. And in it, it was like tiny. Doesn't when you see a guy that's good looking and then it's tiny, doesn't that freak you out? I, I don't remember that. I don't. I don't get caught up in that. Just, You're not a size person. Oh, thank God. Oh no, no. no. <laughs> if I got any shot, I mean, uh, you know what I mean. It's yeah, gonna, I don't need you laughing at me. Okay, when a guy's ugly and it's tiny, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm gonna wow. make this easy for you, Howard, so we don't have to kill ourselves here. I did them all. Okay. You did. Take them all. Take them all. Yes, because this is gonna get boring. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> no, it's not. Boring. It says here, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Now, there's a name you don't usually see on the list. Here's a guy Bernie Mac. I happen to know is true you went out with Brad Pitt. No, no, no. I never had the privilege. Really? No. Where'd you get this list? I don't know. I, you know, I think this is, is like the list. Screen Actors Guild register yeah. that he has pulled up here. Stephen Bing. Never. William Sieghart. Yes. Oh, a multimillionaire publisher. Oh, who's he? He's, he's, he's nobody. He was a great guy, actually. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really great guy. I love, you. Smart. I love this new movie, Kill Bill. Thank you. I think you're smoking hot in it. Thank you. Uh, it's perfect. And I can't wait for the sequel. Thank you. I'm very psyched about it. Now let's talk about us. Uh, <laughs> All right, let's get You'll back be going to, to the sequel premiere together, I guess. <laughs> Are you tall as a young child? Uh, always, yeah. Always. Awkwardly tall? Always, yeah. Would you go into modeling from high school? I did. Well, yeah, before I was at 15, I was a model for... Well, I was around 15 in summer, I was 15, and then when I was 16, um, right before I started making movies. So you got a lot of dough. Uh, I spent a lot. But you're a hell of a catch. I mean, like, when... I mean, you got your own money. I, I, I'm self-sufficient. I've been for a long time. You have FU money. Uh, I don't know what that is. You know what that is. <laughs> I've so, heard what people call FU money, and I don't have it. So now you're officially single, right? I'm I'm separating. Very painful. It hurts. I went through it. I know. I and did. You, and you had a couple of kids, too, right? I have a couple of kids. He has three. Yeah. You had three. Yeah. 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 He forgets this looking at you, but he has three. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what? I kind of did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'll tell you what. What? I don't know if I want to get into raising your kids now. Who would? Nobody wants to raise anybody else's kids, but nobody has to. I might have raise to. my own kids. 
No, I'll probably have to be involved. <laughs> I just don't know how much involvement you're looking for. You'll have to meet them, at least. I'll have to meet them. <laughs> I'm not looking for anyone I just to don't want them coming kids. over my apartment. <laughs> Play with football you know with them. I, mean? I don't need the apartment. You can get another apartment for the kids. I'll just get a separate apartment where there your kids you can visit me. <laughs> How's that? Let's work it all out. Uh, we can sort this out right now, yeah. How long have you been married? I was married for five years. Isn't he much shorter than you, Ethan Hawke? He's a little dash, tiny bit shorter than me. Then why would you go for him? I mean, he's a wonderful person. No, you don't feel that way anymore, I hope. I do still. You cheated. So? I would never cheat on you. He's a man. I'm, what, you think all men cheat? They do, sometimes. Oh. Look at me and say that. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Look at your man and say that. What are you talking about, all men cheat? I don't know. I think it happens. So then why what? are you breaking up? Uh, you know, no, uh, hey, <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. She's got to keep face. I mean, if it's a thing that happens with every guy, you might as well keep this guy. He thinks <laughs> it, this is what I read in the Inquirer. Yeah. Mike Walker told me this this morning. Yes, and he knows everything. He does. He thinks when you were filming Kill Bill, which was a long shoot, very long in China. Yeah, nine months. Nine months. He thinks, but this is such a guy thing. Yeah, and he was cheating. He gets caught cheating, and he goes, "Oh, guess what?" Um. You were cheating with Quentin Tarantino over in China. No, no, he knows that's not true. It's not true, right? No, he knows that's not true. We totally not do Quentin Tarantino. I adore him. That's not well, true. He, I admit he has a thing for you, Quentin Tarantino. He puts you in every movie. You talk to Quentin about that. I will. <laughs> if, ever, if we can't get him in if here, he gets now that well we want again, to talk to him. Whatever's wrong with him. I hope Where is he, he in well rehab or something? Soon. Who knows? No, he's not in rehab. He's in, he's in his mansion. Don't you think he, Ethan Hawke is jealous of your career, especially with Kill Bill going on <laughs> now? Really, what's he doing? Uh, you know, he's doing Zero. great. He's doing great. He's, he's, he's doing good. And what's up with the music? Now? It's a sad <laughs> part of your life. <laughs> oh, God. Although you don't seem that sad. Uma Thurman Hawke. <laughs> Tonight on E! True Hollywood Story. Oh, my God. <laughs> I wouldn't cheat on you. That's all I'm saying to you right now. <laughs> I wouldn't. You wouldn't? No. I never cheated. I never cheated on my wife. You never did. But she's not, no. not married anymore. Because I did the right thing. No, you're supposed to stay married. That's well, the right thing. I can't do that. Oh. <laughs> but he won't I, stay married to you, but he won't cheat yeah, on you. Yeah, I mean, I won't stay with you, but I won't <laughs> cheat on you. The time that I'm with you. Oh, my goodness. You mean the moments present in the room or yeah. or, or, or in no, total? No, I mean in total. When we're going out, we go out. Uh -huh. And then like a man, I come to you and say, listen, things aren't working. I'm not happy. I'm leaving. Right. Or you say it to me. That, that, that's nice. That's, that's fair. That's, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. That's fair ball. Not like him. Stop. Him. What, you go off for nine months and right away? I mean, it is hard on a guy. Nine a months is a long time. Why couldn't he go to China with you? He was there. He came. He came a lot. We had a newborn child at the time. Exactly. Yeah. So what's his problem? He showed up a lot. I think, you know, he did. He, he, he did it. You know, I don't know about you, but, you know, uh, you know, he, uh, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> and hit the music. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, anyway, you know, we look, we have two children. You know, nobody knows why these things you make your best effort. I, just, I actually had pretty much the happiest time of my life in the last like seven years. Well, you haven't been with a real man yet. I'm being honest. The yeah. best is yet to the come. The best then. is yet to come, my love. Trust me. You'll see. Yeah. So who are some of your friends that I'm going to be hanging out with when we're going out? I want to be a part of... What going to get into? Yeah, and I can't go out during the week. I hope you... But you can't either. You're a mom. Yeah, yeah. I don't I'm, need you running a Nobu on Wednesday nights. Uh, cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I know what you're saying. I, I like your saying. body language right now. A, a man needs... You're totally open to me. Uh, Do you realize that? Really? By my knee being up? Oh, please. You're totally into me. <laughs> you might not realize it, but your body language you says it. You read me like a comic book. I do. <laughs> and I've read enough of those. I'm very well read. Ask me any question about any comic book, you'll see. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who's the Dazzler? Dazzler? Yeah. Who does that? Marvel or DC? Um, Dazzler's underground crap. I don't read that. It's not underground crap. Very popular stuff. Really? Yeah. Um, you read comic books? No, I did when I was a kid. Yeah, me too. Where'd you grow up? I grew up in Massachusetts. Oh, yeah? Upstate New York, yeah. Massachusetts and upstate. What, are your parents split up? No, my parents are still married. My parents have been married for like 37 years. But your mom used to go out with Timothy Leary or something. That was a brief thing when she was like in her very early 20s. Oh, really? Yeah. Is your mom hot like you? My mom was way better looking than me. 
Oh, she's not alive anymore? No, she is. But, I mean, you know. Oh, she, in her day. In her day, in her heyday, my mom you know, me. puts me to shame. I bang both of you. <laughs> Trust me. I'd like to see a picture of her mother in her heyday. Yeah. I'm sure you can find one. Oh, yeah? Yeah, sure. Oh, was she a model? She was. She was a Swedish model. And what was your dad? My dad was a interesting guy, an intellectual. He's an academic. Oh, great. I got to meet him. <laughs> He's fantastic, actually. An intellectual. God damn that's it. What he is. Yeah, intellectual. He's a professor. Oh, great. That's a killer. That's a job. You know, so that's actually a job. It's what, a professor? Know. Yeah, professor. Someone has to teach people. I make more money than him. Oh, <laughs> no. Yeah. You do, and that's, that's probably right. exactly what's wrong with our society. <laughs> no. I make more money than him, too, that's and that's also what's baby, wrong with our society. Baby, I have a PhD in life. Okay. Hard, school of hard knocks. You're not kidding. Hearsay University. Yeah, when I, I graduated tell you, too. When I tell you my whole story, you'll see. Okay. Is yeah. it here in private parts? No, no. I'll tell you the real part. story. That's, that's that's only half the heartache. It's in the book that's underneath his Emmy. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I could lift all those heavy Emmys off yeah. those best-selling novels. So right. when do you think you're going to get back in the saddle and start dating again? Um, I don't have any uh, immediate uh, plans for this. So what happened when you came back from the movie? You, you, how did you How did you find out he was screwing around? Oh, stop. Tell me. I want to know. Well, you know, the great advantage of, of, uh, of uh, you know, being well-known is there's so many people ready to tell you so many things. Really? Yeah. Scumbag friends of yours. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, media. Oh, what? The Inquirer? That was the starter. That was the kicker. Let me tell you something. I'm so close with the people in the Inquirer. You go out with me, there'll never be another story about you in the Inquirer. Really? Unless you want one planted. <laughs> I've never planted a story in my life. Really? No. Serious <laughs> actress, huh? What do you smoke cigarettes? Don't talk about it. You got to stop that. It's a struggle. Don't talk about it. I'll get you off those. Okay. Don't worry about you it. Put me in the program. It's just you're not happy. <laughs> That's all that is. It's been a, it's been a temporarily. Uh, stop. <laughs> Smoking out of control. Who would be better to get Ethan Hawke back with than than having sex with me? I mean, that's got to freak any dude Jesus. out. I mean, so that's, that's what bump. she's supposed to be up to, getting back at him? Yeah. Well, why not? That's All women do that. Yeah. All women do that. Is that true? Oh, for Christ's sakes. My girlfriend said, if you ever cheated on me... Who's she going to be with? Oh, she, I'll bang, I'll bang, I'll bang Artie. I'll bang <laughs> Yo, Jesus. I'll bang Kobe. <laughs> bang Artie. I'll anyone. Let's get back to the bang Artie. Of course women do that. I lost an ear. I think it was from nervously twisting my cord. <laughs> well, I'm I'm being fried here in the lion's den. <laughs> yeah, but my, my let me give you my cord. personal life. <laughs> it's not that bad. Everyone goes through this. Yeah, but her, her father is an intellectual Buddhist. I mean, I bet she's above all this. Does well, your father you know want to kick Ethan's ass? Yeah. <laughs> well, did you read her? All of her brothers do. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, how many brothers you got? Three. What was that? Are they fans of mine? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm a fan of yours, Howard. Are you? You've been my dirty little secret. I like to turn you on in the morning. Is that true? That's true. No matter what anyone says, you know, they're like, oh, no, don't subject us to Howard. And it's, it's Yeah, they all listen. <laughs> yeah. Who says that? <laughs> Everybody has to say it. Sometimes those... people drive in the car. <laughs> yeah. You know, Are those your real people... feet in Kill Bill? Uh, unfortunately, I have to take full credit for that. Uh-oh, there's a note. Oh, Uma's mom. Uma's mom is oh, weird. Oh, whoa, look She's at your mom. Oh, you got line. a picture. Yeah, oh, there's the mom. Oh. Hot. That my mom, yeah. yeah she looks like you. A beauty. I would bang your mom. <laughs> How's your mom look now? I mean, is she heavy? She looks great. She, she, she had four kids. Right? She had four kids, all right. She had four kids. Yeah. I don't want you getting heavy. <laughs> that's what I'm That's what I'm wondering about. <laughs> yeah, keep it the sit-ups. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, I like that I'm your dirty little secret. You're my dirty little secret. Yes. Yeah. I want to be your dirty knows. little secret. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, man. Ooh. Who, who are our friends that we hang with? Who are our friends? Yeah, I, I've well, you know, I don't have that many friends. Who are you friends with, Julia Roberts and Gwyneth? I, I don't have that many famous friends, sadly. I don't have quite like a, you know. What is it, Jar? Menagerie of I, famous really? friends. I was at a Nobu one night, and I know that her and Ethan were at the table next to me, and, I, and there was a lot of celebrities there. I, I Gary Shandling was one of them. Not at our, not sitting with us. I could swear that it was Gary Shandling. I remember there were a lot of celebrities sitting at your table, but I can't remember who they all were. Hmm. Let me tell you something. You hang with me, I'll introduce you to Neil Drake. Wow. All now, right. You haven't lived if you haven't met Neil. Do you Drake. need an Audi? Hmm. Wayne Siegel Wayne is my Siegel. best friend. Neil can hook you up with a beeper. I know Jeff Schick from IBM. Do you? Yeah. You're, you're connected. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know Dominic Barbara. Okay? <laughs> These are the people I hang with, and I think you're going to want to be in that circle, that nightmare circle. So, 
What are you telling me? No Hollywood friends? I know I have some, but just not a lot. You know anything's hot? Like, you know, you're, you're such a good actress, and like, we'd be laying in bed, and like, you'd be studying your script. Yeah. And I'll be writing some jokes for the show. Yeah. You know, Two I don't, creative people together. Ethan will take care of the kids. <laughs> Ethan's got the kids. Yeah, Ethan's got the kids for the weekend. <laughs> Ethan's the nanny now. <laughs> yeah, you watch the kids during the week. Uh huh. And Ethan will watch them on the weekend, so we're free to do what we want. Oh, cool. Yeah. You've just got this all laid out. <laughs> I so do. <laughs> just trust me, I can handle everything. Oh, that's just what I need. But yeah. Uma's going to have to be involved with your kids. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> yeah. So it's what? It's all right. Big deal. Big deal. How she has a lot of love. Are? How old are they? Uh, four, six, and eight. No, <laughs> oh, stop that. <laughs> I don't want to date myself. <laughs> that's all. Well, how old are your kids? Uh, 20 months and um, five. Wow, that is young. She's yes. still saying months. Yeah, months. Yeah. <laughs> Well, see, I, one of my I, kids is a thousand months. I got one thirty thousand months, and uh, you know it's whatever. So wait a second. Yeah. What are you telling me? Yeah, Howard. What are you telling me? What so, are you really asking? Well, me? Okay, so wait a second. So you're overshooting the movie. Yeah. You find out from your your scummy friends that <laughs> Ethan's running around with some young chick, right? Yeah. So what do you do? Do you race home from the China? Or get right no, on the plane. I wasn't in China. I was in Vancouver. Oh. I was shooting another movie, actually, with Ben Affleck and John Woo. Another movie? Yeah. Karate flick? No, I don't have to do any karate. I'm just the girl. I've had a real fun. Ben does all the, you know, moves. He kicks all the behind you need to take care of. Horrible him. actor, right, Ben Affleck? Actually, I think he's a wonderful actor. Mediocre at best. No, I, I think you'll see. He, he has staying power. You'll see. Really? So he, he is... He is going to be a he's going to be a great movie star. That guy. Really? Yeah. Oh, I haven't he's seen just it yet. He's a baby movie star, and, and they got to take their 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 wax when they're young because they got to get you know whipped into shape. You right. Know, that's what happens. You get smacked around, and if you can handle it, then you can grow up into be a big movie star. I think that's happening with him. <laughs> so what do you got? You live here in the city? Yeah. And then what do you got? Like a little country place somewhere? Uh, yeah. I wonder how you're going to divvy all that up. What do you <laughs> want? The country place or the apartment? Uh. You want, you want my advice? What's your advice? Let his ass... You I'd got, say keep it all. Since you got custody of the kids mostly, because you're the mom, you keep it all, let him go get his own yeah, place. Yeah, he can get some other places. The kids need their homes. Yeah. <laughs> kids are used to it. Why should they be punished? He has an apartment. He's Good. all okay. Yeah, of course he does. All set up. Yeah. Skunk. <laughs> he's actually he's a wonderful person. You know, he's, he's a wonderful skunk. Yeah. <laughs> he's a wonderful person. Let him sleep at his girlfriend's house. <laughs> He'll stay at my place. <laughs> Trust me. We'll get him back. Don't worry, he's gonna be banging his head into he's the wall. He's gonna be so sorry. Hey, stepdad's here, Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> Trust oh, me. Uncle Howard. Uncle Howard's in the house. Let's see him get out of line in front of me. I'll be fun dad. Take the kids to all the fun places. <laughs> we so like is, new daddy better. Yeah, new daddy's better. <laughs> new daddy has long hair. He's into rock and roll. <laughs> right, so let me understand something. Okay. Let me understand where we're at at this point. Yes. So you come home. Oh, my God. No, I got to know. I got to know what I'm in for. <laughs> I mean, I want to know how much of an entanglement this is going to be. <laughs> so when your brothers find out, they're looking for him to beat the crap out of him. No, they wouldn't really beat anybody up. Your brothers must be tall dudes. They are. They're Athletes? Big. They're big, strong boys. Yeah. I love that they're going to kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is he crapping his pants? I don't think so, because they're big, strong, nice boys. You know what I think about you? What? In movies, you're not afraid to take your top off either. It's been a long time since I've taken my top off in a movie. you got great cans. Hey, now. Well, you know, you nurse a couple kids, you stop taking your top off in the movies. <laughs> really? What happened? You know, you know, it's rough. Would it's you rough get implants to just uh, tidy them up? No, no, I just, I just strap them up with like Wonder Bras and all sorts of things like that. But what about for your man? If things are looking a bit sloppy, why not just? Uh... We'll get to that. You know, if you, you, you can let me know when we're dating. If you want to send me into the surgeon, I like natural. I'm fine. Okay. Believe me, I'm sure they're great. <laughs> yeah, we'll use gaffer's tape on you. If it's... <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of my women, I gaffer tape up. The gaffer's tape is yeah. right there by the bed. They like it. It's very <laughs> <laughs> sexy. It is. Oh, until, until you take it off, I'm sure. So when you're in bed with a man, are you opposed to lingerie or, uh, you know, maybe dressing up or you don't care about any of that? You know what, sweetie? I haven't been in bed with anyone other, other than my husband in seven years. So I, 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 I think that that's uh, really, a, I, can, I can't even remember what, what life was like before. You know what would be great? Banging you, I'd be the first guy to bang you after your husband. And then you go, oh my God, this is so good. And you're <laughs> shaking. You're literally <laughs> shaking. It's so good. I guarantee you that'd be hot. <laughs> Quivering. Oh, my wow. goodness. I mean... You realize you is... called me sweetie? Oh, man. Um, yes, dear. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
So you're telling me you don't have any <laughs> celebrity friends? <laughs> yeah, she didn't say that. No, I didn't say that. I have all, I have some celebrity friends. Griffin Dunn is my friend. No okay, girls? What names? Yeah. Natasha Richardson is one of my very Natasha? good friends. Natasha? Natasha? Is a celebrity. Liam Neeson's wife? Yes, and Liam. I know her. She's fantastic. I know right? Liam. Yeah, they're fantastic people. He doesn't like me, I don't think. He barely says hello no, to me. Is that no, right? no, I, I think you he, two no, were no, we're, friends. No, we're friends. I bet he likes you. I he's okay. He, he doesn't have much of a sense of humor. But <laughs> he's he's got serious, a, huh? He's got a big he schlong, have, right? He does have a sense of humor. Yeah. Natasha's very nice. Natasha's amazing. Yes. Who else are your friends? Well, you don't know them. I, they, I don't have a lot of famous friends. Yes, you do. Bob De Niro's my friend. Bobby T? Yes, he is. Bobby. I love that man. Does he invite you to parties? Yes. What's this thing with black chicks? No white chicks? I'm a birthday party attendee. Did you go to his last birthday party? No, actually, I couldn't. But um, hmm. that was unfortunate. Yeah, wow. Sounds like a great life. Yeah, you'd be hanging out with Bobby D. De Niro. It's Bobby D, <laughs> Natasha, Liam. <laughs> Griffin Dunn. Look at me all of a sudden, elevated. <laughs> the majority of my I'll friends are not famous. <laughs> so, you know. You into girls at all? Am I what into girls? I? I love women. No, but I mean, would you ever go lesbo for your man? Would ever go lesbo for my man? No. Let's say I take you to scores. We get a little lap dance. Well, lap dances are all good, but uh, that's we, that's about where the buck stops there. The buck stops thing. there. I take you to scores. We're drinking. You drink, I hope. I do. Good. Drink. All right. A lot? No. I do. All right. So what is what is your drink? I just drink wine. I see. Wine. Sorry. No. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I hate to interrupt, but there's somebody here to see you. Does somebody want to stop by for a second? I'm in the middle of an interview. It's important. Hold on one second, Uma. <laughs> All right. Hold on one second. Okay. I'm Let me just see what this is. It must be important. Uh, for them to interrupt. Oh, it's a young man. How old are you? Your, your mic isn't working. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> want to come over here? <laughs> that same shocked look. You stay away from Uma. You're good looking. Uh, He's so what cute, is that? Isn't he? Yes, he is. What's uh, what's up? Uh, I just wanted to uh, thank you for helping me with my cancer, and I don't have much time, but it's been really nice to meet you, so. Let me tell you something. I would do anything for you. I know you only have a few weeks to live. I spoke to your parents. Yeah. And you're welcome. What's his name? This is Jason. Oh. <laughs> Jason, let me just say something. I don't like to get credit on the air for the outside charity work I do, but I want you to know that I think you're a terrific kid. And you never have to thank me for anything. That's the man I am. Okay. All right? Thanks. <laughs> how did you get your, You were a smoker, right? Yeah. yeah. That's how you got your cancer? Yeah. I All right. Gary, I told you to shave his head. <laughs> get out of here. He's supposed to be a bandage. <laughs> a terrible actor. All right. <laughs> thank you, Jason. <laughs> So cute. Thank you. I am. No, oh. Jason. Oh, Jason. Please. So cute hearing the word cancer. Kid's a hack. In a kid voice. <laughs> like cancer. Uh, Baby. Unfortunately, it's always not that cute. Kill Bill is one of the best movies I've seen in a long time. You should be very proud of it. Thank you. I love it. I love karate flicks. I'm a huge fan of, like, I used to sit around Saturday afternoons and watch that kung fu theater and stuff. Uh-huh. And I love what you do with the sword. I like your acting in this. You won me over, baby. <laughs> and that's not an easy thing. It's not easy? Yeah, you're my girl now. Am I? Yeah. You're my girlfriend. You don't know it, but you are. You want <laughs> nothing to do with me, but you are my girlfriend. <laughs> but yes, what did happen to your feet? Has, have, have, uh, She's a tall chick. Tall chicks don't have don't good have, feet. Really? No. You think not? Yeah, but who cares? I know guys who are hung up on that. Who cares? No, you keep slippers on or something. <laughs> yeah, bandage your feet. Yeah, throw, see, like throw a Chinese some... woman. Go, <laughs> go <laughs> bad. Lucy Liu, a big pain in the ass, I hear, huh? No. Lucy Liu's great. Everyone's great. Who's not great? You must have met celebrities who aren't great when you work with them who you hate. I've been doing this too long to have problems with uh, people at work. I mean, this life's just too short. Work is too much fun. Are you down to earth? Am I down to you earth? carried away with yourself or what? Am I carried away? What yeah. is the Uma lifestyle? Yeah. Uh, my lifestyle is pretty basic. What do you like do to do for fun? Do you have help? Do I have help? Of course. With the kids and all that? Of course that? I have help. You don't look but like I this mean, and not like have help. a lot of help? Of course. She's uh, got two or three housekeepers. Not enough. <laughs> not enough. I'm looking for help. Do you have a nanny for each kid? Uh, no. No. In fact, I've been interviewing people trying to find a new nanny, but my daughter will have nobody. Oh, please. She, <laughs> she only likes the old ones and there's nobody, 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 nobody. I can't find a nanny. I'll watch the kids. Really? How sure. are you so busy with Iraq and cancer research? And <laughs> I'll help anybody. You know. What is it, John? Hey, Howard, uh, do you want to see some pictures of uh, Uma's breasts? That they're really oh, nice. my goodness. Let me see those. Where are those Let from? me see that. This is from one of the film and, uh, websites. Let me oh see. Oh, my God. Let me see what's doing under your shirt. Oh, jeez. 
Not own. Perfect. Oh, Perfection in a woman. Look at these. Hey, don't Artie saluted. I, I want to see those. that picture and make yeah. sure it's oh, even me. Wow. Sorry, Artie. <laughs> Sorry, Artie. You yeah, missed right. out. Yeah, All right, let's see. Oh, yeah, there we have Danger. Those are yours? I believe so. My God. Well, actually, it's slightly suspicious how there's some cut off things. Certainly, it looks like, yeah. How old were you when you started developing? Uh, what? 14, 15, something. So you got your period when you were like 14? Somewhere around And that. then your breasts started to come in? Somewhere around Because it's rare for a girl who's so thin to have like a D cup. It is rare. My mother had small breasts, so I didn't expect that that would happen to me. Wow, they're fantastic. Those are goddamn perfect. Uma Stern. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uma Thurman Hawk Stern. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Whatever. Want to take a few phone calls? Are you, you short on time? What's uh, your story? Sure, you can take a few phone calls. All right. First up is Jeff the Drunk. Go ahead, Jeff. He always Morning, calls in. Uma. Good morning, Jeff. By the way, Jeff, see Uma Thurman in Kill Bill opening today in theaters everywhere. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Uma. Jeff. <laughs> yes, Jeff. Uh, may I ask you a question? I feel you're going to anyway. Are you in the anal? Ugh. Oh, my God. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> Jeff. Oh, what Jeff. Kind of, Jeff, she's a big movie star. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay, Jeff. How much you get a film now? What's your quote? I need to know. I don't that. know. I don't know. I don't really have a quote at the moment. You know what it is. No, I don't. I'm, I'm sort of no quotey. Oh, but what's your quote for anal? <laughs> <laughs> not into that anal. No, no, no. That's not your thing. Not at all. You're very loving, I feel, but I don't think that's no, something can't, you want. Can't have that stuff. Ever try it? I uh, don't like pain in general. All right, so that's something you're not looking pain, into. Pain, no, yeah. But as Robin has often said. Robin has said. Yeah, if a guy gets you hot enough and really gets you off, that just happens naturally. <laughs> yeah, is right. that right, Robin? <gasps> well, uh, it can happen, let's say. Uh, it happened to you. <laughs> and you said happen. it was very natural. It, it wasn't painful. Like, it's I'm not gross. in pain Let's take another call. <laughs> oh. You were bum rushed. <laughs> it's not painful. <laughs> you, were bum you were bum rushed. You were bum rushed, Robin. Suzanne, I you're... Was bum rushed? Yeah, that's what we call it. I mean, you know, that's what I've heard bum they call rushed. it. Yeah. Suzanne, you're on the air. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Um, I just wanted to say that I met Uma Thurman while she was in Bayonne. She was filming Hysterical Blindness, and she was gorgeous, and she smelled great, and she was so nice. She gave me a hug. She was, she was just awesome, absolutely awesome, and I was so honored to have met her, and I just think she's gorgeous, and I love her. Thank you. You're I, so sweet. Thank I you. really, really wish you the best of luck. I think you're just going to kick ass and, and just... Do great in everything that you do. Thank you so much. That's Have a great day. Sounds like you slipped to the tongue or something. Wow. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. She was much nicer than the last guy. You yeah. smelled okay. great. <laughs> <laughs> I've met you in Bayonne. No, don't make fun of that lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's super nice. Yes, Greg. Hey, Howard. Hey, now. Hey, now. I want to ask him a question real quick. Uh, I know breakups are always hard and everything like that. Every girl goes through it. But I'm offering her a one-time opportunity. I'm offering to be her rebound. Oh, wow. You want to take the hit, huh? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Well, man. she needs a good nine inches, so I hope you have that. Well, actually, let me tell you something. I'm six foot four. I'm at 250 pounds. Very good shape. Right. And I'm uh, very well hung also. Well, you sound like a real man, and I have no use for you here. <laughs> <laughs> no real men here. And you know what? We don't need you hanging around. Thanks, Jim. Unbelievable. So, uh, when do you think you're going to start dating again? I, I'm, you know, I don't have any real plans here. Really? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't really map this stuff out. Howard. You're not thinking about it. You sure you're not with John Cusack? I'm getting tons I'm sure. of reports. No, I'm sure. Because really, not for you. <laughs> oh, you've decided. Right. <laughs> oh, no, I just, I would be sickened if that was the case. I really would. I'd be, I'd be sickened by that. You, you would, you would yeah. be heartbroken. I would. You would. I wouldn't like it. <laughs> but All who right. do you see her with then? Or does she have to be alone to keep who else, her happy? Who else is she going to be with? <laughs> I think I might just have to stay alone to keep Howard happy. Right. Steve, go ahead. You're on the air with Uma Thurman in Kill Bill. Boy, am I lucky, man. Is that a beautiful looking woman? Good morning, Steve. Oh, my God. Don't fall for any of this crap that uh, Howie's shoveling there. What do you mean, crap? Aww. What kind of crap am I shoveling? Oh, man, you're trying to paint yourself as this big, great guy. <laughs> big, Get great off my phone. <laughs> Some pal you are. <laughs> you know who this is, don't you? Who is it? John Cusack. Oh. Yes, it is. Stupid ass. What's wrong with you? Oh, man. What are you reading there? I don't know. Let me see something. Oh, quote from Uma Thurman. Uh-oh. Uma Thurman 
will blame herself if her marriage fails. She says, I'd never worry about him with a leading lady. I'm not even worried about him straying. If something happened in our relationship, I'm sure it would be my fault. I'm 100% sure of it. <laughs> oh, you dear. still feel that way? You said that in February of 2001. <clears throat> I did say that, yeah. yeah. Get off with the music. <laughs> <laughs> An eerie prediction from Uma Thurman. <laughs> Can't believe it. Now stop it. So have you seen him since he got back from uh, all that filming and stuff? Yeah, we of see each other all the time. Oh, you do? They have children. Yeah. Did he try to get in your pants again and then you said no? No, he's not. Ch no. Oh, he's going to try. <laughs> Don't fall for it. No, Once a cheater, always a cheater. <laughs> I guarantee oy vey, oy it. Oy vey, oy nothing. <laughs> Don't oive me. <laughs> Be strong. You call me if he starts in with you. <laughs> I'll call. I'll call you first. You call me. I'll call you right. You're up. not kidding. You come right down and you talk me out of it. Two more phone calls and I'll let you out of this. Okay. Horror. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to uh, Antonio. Hey, Howard. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. It must be the same guy. Hey now. Is that, is that a same guy, hey now? Guy. I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan ever since I saw you in uh, that calendar, High Society Presents Celebrity Surveillance 2, 1999 calendar. All right. All right. Somebody made money, not me. Yeah. <laughs> right, never mind this guy. Chauncey, go ahead. You're on Calendar. the air. Oh, and hi. This is Chauncey Hayden at Stepping Out Magazine. <laughs> yes, I understand. That magazine is a very important magazine. Yes, I, I'm not one to call a radio show. Yes. But I just want to let you know that we recently have announced the winner of our Man of the Year yes. issue. You have beat out Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes. Brad Pitt, and Derek Jeter. Our <laughs> four million readers have voted you Man of the Year. Well, that is a great honor. I thank you, but it's Uma Thurman's chance to be the star right now. <laughs> I understand. I'm sorry to interrupt the thank show. Thank you for calling. You say you're with Time Magazine? <laughs> no, that was Stephanie. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, whatever. That's very, very nice. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I I, I, Congratulations. Thank Howard. you. I accept that. Congratulations. <laughs> so if we went to scores together... Yeah. You're telling me, like, we get lap dances and stuff. Uh, you, you can have as many lap dances as you like, Howard. Yeah, but you don't want... I, you know what? I don't even want I've it. had a lap dance. You have? Yeah. It doesn't turn you on. Other women, other women don't turn you on. Uh, I think women are beautiful. But not, nothing in terms of your sexual repertoire. It just doesn't go that far, Howard. Okay. How old were you when you had your first boyfriend? Uh, my first boyfriend? Oh, young, like 15 or something. But, but not, not really boyfriend. You didn't, didn't take really, your virginity. I didn't really have a boyfriend i didn't really have a boyfriend 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 until i was older even but so i had sex earlier you did how old yeah, were you I, was young. I didn't like to discuss it oh <laughs> yes you do Tell oh me. no i yes, don't you do. yeah. oh, no i don't 20 months 20 months <laughs> 2000 months well let me tell you something 2001 months <laughs> you are a smoking hot chick i like that jacket you're wearing i like the what, what, are, you, what are you wearing two t-shirts yeah, I got some little tank tops on here. You got two tank tops? I got two. Why the double tank tops? Because you like that little thing hanging, like you like the tank top? No, the first one was a little thin. A oh, little your breasts? Transparent. You're not wearing a bra, are you? No, I am. And you didn't want your bra to show through? The stomach, the whole, the whole bang the thing. The whole thing. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure it was all cool. All right. It was all covered up. I like your jeans. They're tight. <laughs> That's great. You know how to do karate for real? Uh, you know, I learned the moves. You can kick a little ass? Uh, I, I don't know what would happen to me. I hope I don't have to find out. But I, I certainly got more physically confident than I've ever been in my life. You worried after this movie because you're like this karate chick that people are going to challenge you? Like, I hope that doesn't happen because, like, you used to, apparently it was like you know, Bruce Willis and all those guys, you know, they used to have to, like, have bodyguards or, you know, because they go to, like, a bar or something. And some people are like, I can take you. Right. You know, they yeah. get that. I, I, I don't really see anyone saying that to me. So, <laughs> do you have a belt? Do I have a belt on? No, do you no. have a belt in karate? No, I have a purple belt. You have a purple belt. That's right. <laughs> that sounds good. Right. That's very impressive, Howard. A purple belt. Right. That means you can punch through tissue. Right. <laughs> if I see a little a lavender belt, <laughs> means I could really kick like a fifteen-year-old boy's ass. <laughs> he can rip the paper towel. <laughs> so, sure, you had a five million dollar modeling contract. Is that true? I don't remember exactly what it was. Wow, that's big bucks. It was something for, yeah. I did that thing for a few years. Oh, nice. It wasn't for a year. It was for a couple of years. Boy. I love a chick who can earn. Well, <laughs> she's definitely an earner. She's definitely an earner. <laughs> well, you, it's great that you came in here. I'm thrilled. Well, thank you. And uh, I'm sorry if I turned you on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to. I don't know to. if that's why I've been beat red the whole time <laughs> yes. I've been in here. The movie's called Kill Bill. I have seen it. I love it. 
Robin has a problem with hey, it. Hey, Robin, it I want to ask you about that. So, what's your problem with it? <laughs> you didn't like me wasting Vivica. No, 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 no. That. I don't have a problem. I you love... Didn't like me chopping I, heads off. No, 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 no. It's a great no, movie. No, no, no. I love... You didn't like the yellow suit. I love... Love it. You violence. Like girl power. I, I love all of that stuff. I'm a huge fan of female action stars. I simply think it was... It it took it so far out of reality that it just it didn't work for me. You wanted it to be more horrifying and I, less. No, funny? I wanted it to be. It doesn't have to be horrifying to be like gritty and real and give you that surge of power. You know that you know. You, yeah, those women can really. She's jealous. Ass. I dig you. That's oh, all. that's it. She's so in love with that's me over there. She didn't know what to do with herself. And I love Quentin Tarantino, but it just it wasn't my cup of tea. I'll give the opposing viewpoint. Okay. It's one of the best films I've seen in a long time. And, and that's no stroke because you're here. I've said it even when you're not here. Uh, the action is incredible. The, the, the way he reveals things on film, the way the film looks, uh, the story's great. And I can't wait for volume two. That's all I can tell you. By the end of the movie, and you're even going to go to see volume two. I said I really am pissed off because now I'm hooked in and committed to volume two. Yeah, so how much could you, if you really hated it, you wouldn't want to see volume two. I hate it so much. I, I, like I said, I love Quentin Tarantino. I love Uma. So I'm going to see the And other you say one. you don't believe that that Uma could kick ass in real life. You know, like That's he, what it does. For me, it makes me believe that it's, you go know. Go kick her ass. Yeah, I'm okay. smack that go smack her. right now. I <laughs> don't believe she could do it. She'll be one-eyed Robin tomorrow. Marshall Fine gave the movie an A, which is the highest grade he That's can give. Right, and yeah. um, the, and the paper today gave it three stars. Of, a lot of people are saying really wonderful things yeah. about it. For the record, I thought the subtle irony was fantastic. Uh, <laughs> Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, wonderfully done. From the man who supplies you with... <laughs> no! <laughs> it's not me. Hey, there's something ironic in that, too. I'm the guy who goes, what's up? <laughs> well, let me just... And you say you came up with the concept for the movie? I did not. No. It, the idea of the movie came up in a conversation between the two of us. And Quentin? Years ago. Yeah. And this has become like an overwhelming thing to answer because he made this credit on it that said, you know, based on the character created by Q and you. Oh. So I have to constantly explain this thing. No, obviously, you can tell completely this is 100% uh, okay. pure, unadulterated Tarantino yeah. fantasy. Yeah. I feel you wrote it. <laughs> All right. Uma Thurman, Kill Bill. Good luck with the movie. Do you think it'll be number one at the box office? Yes. You do? I do. What is your prediction on the gross? You have to worry about stuff like that. I don't have a prediction. I can't even get a straight answer about what the range possibility would be. Right. I don't know. It's really fun. It's cool. I worked on it for so long that, you know. And how did it test? It tested well. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. But I heard in the first test, Quentin sat in the audience with people. Uh -huh. That's so not like, good. There's Quentin, like, here, there's supposed to be a test, right? right? And, and there's Quentin, like, hooping it up <laughs> along with everybody yeah. else. And then he, instead of taking cards, like a normal, you know, filmmaker has to get these brutal cards, like, right. like what did you think of it? It sucked. You know, like, right. they make these nasty little cards. How is Uma Thurman? She stinks. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> they read all these cards and... But it's it, not a focus group if the guy sits there with the audience. It, well, I, this is what was funny to me. I, listen, I love this man's life, that everything can be, like, everything is specially, specially different with uh -huh. him you know so then instead of cards he stood outside the theater and shook people's hands oh. and they told him what they thought of the movie oh, is that right very scientific oh, that, was a, that was a scientific study <laughs> the initial scientific study the movie will make 27 million dollars this weekend I think it'll be bigger no 27 how much you want to bet I will bet it'll go 30 and above okay there we go I hope right. so I think it's I think it deserves it uh, okay Uma Thanks. I'm gonna let you out of here I'm gonna take a break Thank you. I'm going to come over there, pull your pants off. And, <laughs> no, I'm, that's, uh, that was wrong to say. I will not pull your pants off. Um, and we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Hey, I'm trying to do a good job. Wanna... Is that so friggin' wrong? Yes. The lovely and talented Howard Stern. All right, we got lots more big show. Jimmy and Adam. Hey now, hey now. John Stamos. Well, oh, I, hey I want to say to him, what, what, what's going on? I oh, met, definitely with John Stanton. never see him anymore. I do want to apologize to you. If I was, I didn't realize that was a move. Oh. Hey, you see block now. <laughs> Everyone, all the guys go, holy I cow, Robin. I not realize. Robin wow. C blocked That's you. That's what you were up to. I'm talking, listen to this. So Uma <laughs> Thurman and I get up, we get up and we're talking. Benji thinks she dug me, but I don't. What? I don't, I don't think she dug me. I think you had a chance. I don't know. 
you should have... What? Just the way she was looking at you when you're talking to you, so the removal of the jacket. What's the removal of the jacket? It just it's, it, it was a very seductive ran. removal. So you did think she was into him? Oh, yeah. But that's right. Benji. He's delusional. No, no I think you had a chance. could be right. Really? No, yeah. <laughs> what? The... the, the the removal of the jacket, I watched. But that doesn't mean she was into me. No, but it was a sexy sort of move, and I, I think that the groundwork was laid. Like, I don't think it's out of the question at all. Yeah. I think especially, she, especially that rap you laid on. Yeah, that was uh, a great, that was awesome. I was doing this great rap, and then Robin... <laughs> I didn't think it was a great rap. I thought, I just, I well, thought it was well, a conversation. You know what? What? Uh, you I were was, making it hard. Oh, get she out. She was attacking you. It was like, a, was she was arguing attacking. with you. You're in love with me, and you ought to admit it. I was not it. attacking. In fact, I thought the better move would have... Oh, well, uh, the better move would have been what? If you were making a move, yeah. would have been to be sympathetic on her side. Listen, listen. I gave her my rap about how what a great this is. It's a perfect rap. What a great guy I am. How my divorce was just you know perfect, perfect because I'm an honorable man. My entire legal bill, eleven grand. I gave her that rap about how, like, my wife and I never fought a day. We didn't cheat on one another. The way you describe because first of all, her guys cheat. She's got to want a man who doesn't cheat. Of Your course. wife deserved every penny. I said my wife deserved every penny. <laughs> yeah, the way you describe. So Robin is... starts going. You don't feel that way. <laughs> and I went, holy cow! You were acting as if you you had the world's most perfect divorce. Yes. What's the dip? Why do you have to go telling her it was? I didn't know you were doing it for a reason. What do you think I'm doing? You know I don't waste my time talking to anybody unless they're hot. I'm sorry. I missed it. At one point, Howard, it looked like you actually got irritated from Robin. Of course. <laughs> I had the whole rap oh, going. When John jumped in and said, yeah, who is this? So I just I just tried to add yeah, yeah, And then you go, and then you go, well, who is this yeah, guy? Who is That's this guy? That's because she was attacking. Describing. I was trying to make it fun. I was trying to show her that I'm right. like, 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 women have rights, and women in a divorce shouldn't be screwed over. <laughs> I know, Robin's like, bull crap! <laughs> no, wait a minute. There was a point at which you couldn't even keep it straight. What are you talking about? What are you talking I could have if you weren't there making jokes. I'm in the middle of rapping to a chick. Boy, remind me never to go to a bar with you. I'm not. I, I'll stay out from now on. I usually stay out. I didn't realize I was going to get in the be in the midst of one of I your... I had Uma eating your, out of my hand. Your move. I, did. I did, right? Really? And then Robin came over in C-Block. When you said... when you Because you, here's a you? woman going through a bad situation. <laughs> if she sees that I'm an honorable man... Uh, I didn't Howard. know you were trying to take advantage of her Howard, there Of was course. There was, who takes advantage of people more than me? <laughs> there forgot. was a moment. There was a moment when you were explaining how you, know, you went and looked to see what the best... You know, anyone ever had you wanted to match that because you uh. wanted the best thing for your ex-wife, and I swear, I think she said the words "Wow." She and I said, "Hey, that's the mother of my children." Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and like, all you want is your kids to be happy, right? Yeah, that was. Beautiful. I didn't want anything no. negative in the papers. <laughs> no, Uma looked. I you. had it. I had the deal done. Yeah. You described the divorce she hopes to get. Right. You I gave her her fantasy. Exactly. She looked at you and said, "Wow, your kids. That oh all. God. That's all that matters." And Robin's like, "Give me a break." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, why would you do that to me? Unless you're in love with me. <laughs> I, I just, I was like, I'm too honest. I'm like an honest person. And it I was, was like, funny what though, the right. hell is going on here? This woman thinks this is possible. <laughs> Look, I always lay the groundwork. You never know when Beth's going to dump me. <laughs> and I'm just trying to lay the groundwork. Oh, my but how, goodness. If Uma, if Uma wanted to bang you, you, would, you wouldn't, I guess. Uma's in a very vulnerable place right now. And I think Uma needs friends, not not some guy hitting on her every minute. No, but John's not asking about Uma's feelings. No. He's asking about your feelings. I mean, cause like, in other words, you can't... No, like, oh, I would not take advantage of Uma. No, but you're not allowed. Uh, like, Beth and you don't have a deal, See, right? and she starts laughing and ruins my rap. Oh, you're dead. You can't have her around. Robin, are you saying he would take advantage of Uma? In a flash. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> But that's, you know, that's what she does when I'm rapping to her. Yeah, that's yeah. That's why I have to stay up. I can't get So Stamos is here and Jimmy's uh, here. And well, Jimmy and Adam are on the ISDN line and, yeah. uh, and John Stamos is here. Okay. So is Stamos uh, mine coming in? And we, okay, all right, we'll start it. with Jimmy and Adam. We'll let them... Jimmy and Adam want to plug something. Okay. And they sent it to me. It's a movie, but I don't even know what it is. I heard a promo. Funny. Okay. It's funny. You saw it? It's very funny. I watch it. I laugh my ass off. Oh, good. I'm bringing Stamos because I don't want to leave him sitting out there because he'll get irritated and... <laughs> well, you ruined my rap. I hope Uma didn't I see didn't Stamos. I didn't realize that was a rap. That's funny to me. <laughs> hey, you didn't see Uma, did you, Stamos? Good. 
I want their keeper away from you. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is, if you're hitting on a chick and Stamos walks in the room, Forget it. it's all over. It's <laughs> done you ain't, deal. You ain't getting that <laughs> chick. There you go. What happened there? Was I the totally had the rap going. <laughs> and Robin starts, what's the matter? The headphones aren't working? Yeah, Uma said she had trouble with some of the. And Robin C blocked you? Robin C blocked me. I didn't realize Robin. that was a rap. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, Johnny boy, I got a great game for you. Robin's in love with me. Right, hey, John. Right, right. I got a great game for you later. What do you got? Oh, yeah? Oh, good. Because I'm boring today. I'm hey, so tired. You, don't worry, you're not going to be boring today. Ain't this no is so good. Toss? No, no, no. <laughs> what is it? You're going to love this. I'm up. I'm up for anything. Chick wrote me a note. Yeah. Said years ago before you were with Rebecca. Right. She had a one nighter with you. She banged you. <laughs> All right. Did she come in? Somebody said that there was yeah. a girl in here talking about that. There's three girls. <laughs> gonna come in. We're going to see if you can recognize the chick you banged. Oh, good, 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 it's going to be good. It's okay. going to be good. I say no way. Oh, I'm no so way. glad you called us This is today. the new yeah. show. Did you bang that chick? <laughs> yeah, oh, it's going to be great. Stamos bang that chick. John Stamos, can he remember from the laundry list of women he's banged? Right. No, no, could no, he no. pick out the one he banged? And we'll okay, ask you questions. It'll be, oh, it'll be good. So, okay, great. All right. Hey, boys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mr. Excitement. <laughs> yeah. Did we wake you? Yeah. Sorry, Good Adam. <laughs> yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, how you doing? What's happening? Hey, boys. Uh, I'm all right. I'm here in Adam's house. Adam's got a, quite a little setup here. <laughs> <laughs> Do we sound like we're on a walkie-talkie or something? No, you sound good, actually. Oh, good. Yeah. John, you know these guys? Yeah. Adam and Jimmy? Boys. They're the same hey, publicist. Oh, you got the same publicist. Oh, we know each other. Well, that's like your hey, brother. Jimmy went to the playbook mention with Rebecca a couple weeks ago, right, Jimmy? I did, yes. I didn't. I wouldn't say I went with her. I took her to the Playboy. Well, that's right, right. She couldn't get in it, or that you, it was. What well, happened? no. I mean, we we all rode over there together. It was good times, but believe me, nothing happened. Robin ruined the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bring me! From... Don't bring me! I had such a rap going with Uma uh, Thurman, and Robin's like, I don't want to hear it anymore. Laughing hysterically <laughs> at me. How am I supposed to know what your raps sound like? I never you can't heard tell what such, I was doing. Such BS in my. Yeah, but she doesn't know that. Uh, you know me. She doesn't. Robin, you didn't laugh as much when he said he was in the chicken rescue. <laughs> yeah. You didn't laugh at the joke part. The cancer kid. Hey, do you, do you know Uma Thurman? No, no. I what don't. a sexy God. broad! Oh my God, the woman Body, exudes right? what a bod and she really did I, seem to have a chemistry her? with yeah with you, Howard. She was she did you think so she did. yeah i Absolutely. thought there was a nice nice i don't know what uh, went on obviously uh during the commercials but there's a nice <laughs> little rhythm going during the commercials the two of us are hugging we look at each other we're staring into each other's eyes i'm telling her what a sensitive man i am about my divorce and how women have to be treated properly <laughs> and right and, and robin just stands there and starts like cool like <laughs> oh that's rich <laughs> I was about to make love to this chick. <laughs> Howard, let me tell you, I was this close to banging Lucy Lou just a couple of weeks ago until Robin. <laughs> up. Robin's like some sort of C block and superhero. She just flies yeah. to wherever hey, John, guys okay, How many times have I thrown that rap at Rebecca? A lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't block it. I just No, you let, he lets me do it. Oh, goodness. Well, you're, you're good. <laughs> Can I say something, though? Seriously? I'm just going to say this once. Uh-huh. I think you're in love with me. Right. Because you I got nervous. Right. I think so, too. Uh, Robin, that's either... why I would laugh like that. <laughs> either that or she hates you. It's one of the two. I really hey, wait a didn't even realize that was a rap. Here's a woman on the phone. <laughs> you Dina. Yeah, hi. Yeah, what do you think? Howard, Robin is definitely in love with you. I know firsthand because a couple of years ago, I was on your show, and you and I were hitting it off so nicely. You were thinking about going out with me. Robin was so down on it. Yeah. Okay, so I want you down. to come in here with two other women and tell no, Howard can pick you. You're, you're, you happen to be right, Dina. <laughs> All right, look, let's let's get the plugs right. going here. Because John's got plugs to do for the new Play 9. He's taking over for Antonio Banderas. Let's separate the plugs so wait they stand minute. out. That's what, that's what right. we're here wait, to We're plug. here to what plug you guys are going to be in 9? Jimmy and Adam are in, in 9 after John leaves. <laughs> John, those are some pretty big hirachis to fill, my friend. Are you up to it? <laughs> Adam's taking over for Jane Krakowski. <laughs> that's right. Adam's going to be on that little swing. <laughs> hey, I'd go see that. <laughs> I'll be replacing Crystal Bernard and Annie Get Your Gun. <laughs> What are these guys promoting? All right, th these guys are actually promoting something good. This is something you'd like, John, because John produces stuff. Jimmy and Adam told me about this. Yeah. They made a movie. They have a friend who's a real, like, retard who <laughs> falls for anything. Uh-huh. So they put, th this guy thinks he could, you guys explain it. 
Well, what it is, it's, it's this guy, his name is Perry, and uh, he believes himself to be a great actor, a great comedian, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So what we did is convinced him that he's the star of a major motion picture called Windy City Heat, where he plays a sports <laughs> private eye. And we put him in all these scenes, and he's acting, and it's cut, take, and he's got an assistant, and he's got people tending to him. He doesn't realize that we're screwing with him oh. the entire time. Howard, they take him to the premiere. Right. It goes the whole way. But there's a scene in the movie that I love. Of where he comes out of the uh, after he does his audition, and they told him he's got the part, and the casting agent has on the wall picture De Niro, Brad Pitt, all these people with X's through them, and he thinks he got the part over Brad Pitt and De Niro. Oh no! And he falls for the whole thing, right? right. He well, falls for. And, and every isn't this? Bit of it. Have you guys? It would have gone off flawlessly if Robin. I was going to say, don't have me around when you're trying to. Let him know that we're making a movie it. about. But let it. me ask you something. <laughs> this thing that you guys did went on for like 14 years or something, didn't it? It's uh, yeah, it's been going on uh, well over ten years. Almost. Yes, really? they've been goofing on this guy for ten I, years. Was Bobcat Goldthwait involved with this or something? Yes, yes. somebody he asked me to the film. be a part of this. Howard, it's so great they they've been messing with this guy for so long. They have footage of them messing with him like in 1995. Wow, <laughs> Howard, when are you going to tell Gary he's not really the producer of the show? <laughs> I think he knows. It's been a twenty year. I Robin think it's a great told idea. him last week. <laughs> I mean, now, it's unbelievable. We we do, we have a scene where he gets thrown in a dumpster full of crap, full of actual oh, oh. crap. Yeah. And so he gets out and he's pissed off and he demands a stunt man. So all right, all right, we're bringing a stunt man. <laughs> the next scene is he's about to make love to the, his That's beautiful the co-star. And we bring the stuntman in just ah. before he's about to have sex. <laughs> he's morbidly obese. Now, Perry does not understand that uh, that he's not actually going to get to have sex with her, that it's just a movie. And he's taking Spanish fly. He's got a condom oh, on. No. And he's ready to go. So has he, this, this when does he find... The, the, show, the show's going to be on Comedy Central tonight, right? And no, it's on Sunday night at okay. 9 o'clock. Oh, Comedy i got to watch that. Is that when he finds out it wasn't for real? That, well, he he still doesn't quite know. It's unclear. In Even fact, now, is he retarded? No, he's not a retarded. He's just he's um, <laughs> he's delusional, definitely. <laughs> he's an <laughs> egomaniac and uh, very gullible. Wow. Fred, I wish I would thought of that. Oh, that's Fred, yeah, you would have been in such a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> would have been good. Well, huh? ironically, did turn out to be the star of a movie, just not the movie he thought he was starring this in. This guy believes right. anything. I mean, this guy thinks he had a chance to have sex with Uma Thurman. Can you yeah. imagine? Oh. Talk about right. delusional. <laughs> yeah, look at me. Oh, no. <laughs> but, but did, I, did I stand any kind of chance there? You were judging I all agree with them. That she was really getting into you, and she was falling for your lines. Maybe I was C-blocking. I said, wow, she's falling for this. Yeah, she you know, because she, she did say, wow, and she started to move closer to you. Yeah, I'm telling you. During all this stuff. But I was being did sincere. You, I think I see her? Go get her number right No, no, no. I, I got a girlfriend, but if my girlfriend breaks up with me, I'm going right into you the Uma's arm. <laughs> I'm laying the groundwork, so in like case. It's planting a garden nicely. Yeah. Water. You know? Like I'd be Uma's <laughs> friend now. You yeah, know, yeah. here's here's what happened. She had a good sense of humor, little joke stuff we did on the air with the Emmy and everything. Right, By the way, right. I liked her. It, she was great, she, but w what Robin was doing made her think it was still a joke. Like she, <laughs> you know what I mean? She, yeah. She couldn't well, take it you. Was. No, it wasn't. I was being serious. So she didn't know what to think, you know. She she, she thought she was being goofed on. Hey, John. You yeah. know. So uh, me, Uma, you, and Rebecca, we can go to my apartment there and get naked go. again. And me and Jimmy. And me and Jimmy, right? Yeah, and, and Jimmy, Jimmy and Adam. Jimmy and yeah. Adam can get naked. <laughs> Jimmy and Adam be naked. <laughs> I like to see that. Maybe I'll make a movie about that. I tell I tell Jimmy and Adam we're all getting naked in the apartment. Right. They get naked, but they don't know I'm goofing on them. <laughs> so, Done. Hey, uh, someone's on the phone. Go ahead. You're on the air. Kevin. Hey. Hey. Adam and Jimmy. Yeah. Fellas, how do you feel about watching Rogan and Stanhope ruin your show? <laughs> and I'm aware that Stan Hope goes around to anybody that'll listen and just rip you guys. Is that right? Yeah, he's like one of these anti-government, popping mushrooms lunatics. Well, that, he's on my list. Right after I'm done with Robin, I'm going for Stan Hope. <laughs> By the way, it's Jimmy and Adam. That's how they like to be introduced. Yes, that's Jimmy insists yeah, on it. It's in the contract. It's not Adam and Jimmy. It's Jimmy and Adam. All right, Actually, one more call, and then I'll get rid of these guys. And then, and then John Stamos gets to play his game. <laughs> Can he remember the chick he banged? 
<laughs> Good game, huh, guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, really, I can remember the chick I banged because it was just one. <laughs> right, yeah, but, we could, we could pretty much. Uh, how many chicks you figure? Her. How many, one episode with you, John? How many chicks you figure you've banged in your life? I mean, you are like one of the most handsome dudes. Jimmy, what happened to the Playboy Mansion? <laughs> Did, oh, yeah. Why does oh, Rebecca... Quick, I've talked to you about question, this. Why is he question, taking... Wait a second. Howard, yeah. let me just ask. Did the Olsen twins count as two or one? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's one. Uh, okay. <laughs> one. All right. I just want to get my record straight. <laughs> um, uh, hey, 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 Jimmy, you still banging yeah. Sarah Silverman? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. yes I am. Well, yeah, she well, was, she's hot, man. Yeah, she was good in uh, that Jack Black movie. I swear to God, John, John, I suspect is trying to work up some sort of wipe swapping deal with. Uh, yeah, yeah, with yeah, 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 yeah. Because I, I, I wouldn't a second. Uh, it's just you Rebecca won't go along with it. Yeah, of course not. Because look, <laughs> at what's me. in it for? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> John, are you but, still banging Sarah Silverman? Yeah. What? No. <laughs> How many chicks you figure you've banged? Well, I don't. I don't know. I've been, I've been with Rebecca for almost ten years. Yeah, but I'm yeah, but there was a that. long period before Rebecca. I'm going to say thirteen hundred. No, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna no, say. No, I, I always had girlfriends. Honestly. Yeah, I'd say at least a hundred checks, though, right? I, I know. Really? I, I don't no, know. I swear. Wait, I what know. a waste. We that girl said that you know you had some one night. Didn't stands. the girl say I was terrible or something? Wasn't no, I don't think she said you were no. bad. I heard that you stuck up for me. So well, we're gonna find yeah, out everything. Howard yeah, Howard knows you're not bad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Howard. I've seen him in act. <laughs> Uh, one more question. Scott, go ahead. The show, by the way, Jimmy and Adam. Uh, What's Wendy, it called? Hey, Howard. Yeah. Windy City Heat. Okay. D hey, wasn't Jimmy crying the other night on his show about uh, Don Ritter? Oh, that's hey, right. Hey, Jimmy, what went on Don there? Ritter. I saw the Don tape Ritter. of that. You yeah, cried. I appreciate it. You know, oh. let me tell you, I, I now live half of my life. Every interview I do, I think, oh, God, I can't sound like an idiot because Stern will play it on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think I, of that every time you do a, a press thing or something, you know. It's I know. It's in my head. It really is because the only time you ever hear those interviews is when you're <laughs> playing them and making fun <laughs> right, of them. Right. But, Jimmy. Yes. Crying over John Ritter's death? <laughs> But let, me let me play it. Let me play it. Let me play it. Let's go. Play let's it. take us back. Yeah. <laughs> a second. Oh, Christ. Uh, here we go. Uh, and finally, we lost uh, two great <laughs> entertainers last night. Johnny Cash, who was not only a great singer and songwriter, but um, he was uh, um, a big, <laughs> sad, funny, uh, tough guy all at once. And there's not a lot of people you can say it about. And um, John Ritter, who was not only a great and funny actor, but... Um, I uh -oh. think uh, one of the nicest guys that uh, <laughs> I knew I was going to do this <laughs> that uh, we've had around here, and um, it's sad <laughs> for everyone like here Catherine at, Hepburn at ABC, and I think everyone. Um, <laughs> uh, I know Howard Stern's going to play this and make fun of me, but uh, <laughs> I cried when Florida from Good Times died, so go. I can't talk. She died? Jimmy, what happened there? I mean, okay, John Ritter, nice guy and everything, but really. Listen, well, first of all, uh, John Ritter is a great, really was a great guy, and, and we, we, you know, we got to know him a little bit, and there, you know, there were a lot of ABC type functions that, uh, it, one of the So big you cry over people you Ritter. meet at a party? Listen, Robin, I would, <laughs> I would cry if you died. I, I want you to know. Hey, that. Jimmy. But more importantly, I'm a big pussy, and I really, I would cry at the drop. Jimmy, of can I ask you something? Yes. Didn't you get kind of caught up in the hype of the John Ritter thing? Yes. And and uh, you know, all of a sudden now looking back on it, it seemed a little over the top. Excessive. Yes. Yeah. Let me tell you what happened. ABC Brass <laughs> told him he had to cry because he put <laughs> attack in his shoe. And it's as simple as that, people. Adam, you cried when you cried though when Jimmy got his show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. It was embarrassing, but John was a good guy. Did you ever meet him? Uh, no. Uh, no. He's a nice, really nice guy. How but, many times did you meet him? That's the question. A good solid dozen. John, did you know him? Yeah. And did you cry? No. No. Okay. No, he didn't. Well, you don't have a I show. just found well, out I he cried died. Private. Yeah. You didn't even know he died. No, who died? <laughs> <laughs> You're very self absorbed, right? Yeah. John stopped the I'm still alive. John stopped the performance of Nine to cry. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but, you know, no, no, John he was a great guy. We saw him at that ABC thing, right? Jimmy and Adam, we were with yep. him that night. Yeah. That yes, true. we did. And yeah. I shot a pilot with him in Florida about six years ago. But I want to know what Jimmy lost that would bring out those kind of tears. He lost a dear friend and the only. <laughs> B-level guest who would do his show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a lot of guests. You have to understand. <laughs> I yeah, I mean, how many times you? How many times you go to the well of Kermit the Frog? <laughs>
<laughs> no, but I mean, you were, you were crying like you were his lover. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean... Well, that is... I should... Yes, I was. His John Ritter, nice man and everything, but certainly, yeah. you know, I think people are carrying on a little too much about his acting and his and some of the shows he did. I mean, it was Three's Company, which is a jiggle show, and that the, the show that he just died from, it, a horrible show. He died <laughs> from it. <laughs> Howard, I, mean, he, right. I think he died from embarrassment. He was a, he was a hack. It's good that he's gone. I agree <laughs> no, I don't... I'm not saying that. I'm not saying at all. I'm not saying that. with Howard. Yeah. So, so, Howard, you're saying you like everything John Ritter did except Three's company and this show <laughs> yeah all his other work was good yeah oh and and sling blade, and and sling blade. No, i think he's a talented guy but i mean jimmy crying it had nothing to do with his television performance yeah, it was a what great did it have to Again, do with that's what jimmy you hardly my knew him situation guys. <laughs> yeah, all right <laughs> I'm going to leave you alone about this one. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. See this movie, which is supposed to be phenomenal. I apologize for not watching. I got it sitting on my desk. Oh, but you're you, wait a minute. It. You so, know this is this makes another point. These guys have been goofing on this guy for 15 years, and he meets John Ritter three times. He's bursting into tears. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I mean, you created the man show. <laughs> what happened with the guy when he saw it? When he found out that it was a big joke? Yeah. What happens? Um, well, uh, I guess you'll see, really. Uh, it's hard to explain. It really is hard to explain. Right, we'll and people don't believe, people like, All right, does this guy really believe it? But he absolutely, he buys every bit of it. It's a great yeah. idea for a show. See Jimmy Kimmel and Adam Carolla in Windy City Heat Sunday night at 9 o'clock on Comedy Central. And then also watch Crank Yankers Tuesday nights at 10 o'clock on Comedy Central. Right. Also, I'll be crying on my talk show <laughs> on Wednesday night. Excellent. You yes. still drink on your show, Jimmy? No, no drinking on the show anymore. But didn't you hear, Howard, that uh, Jay Leno has moved a bar into his green room or something? Yes, he got that That's from Jimmy. Oh, you yeah. see? I think oh, really? he's always had that, actually. That's where really? it went. Jay Leno's going to cry tonight on his show. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's a pretty good guy. He's a great guy. <laughs> he would rust his circuits if he were to cry on the show. <laughs> right. All right, guys, I love you. Love, Love you, too, buddy. Howard. All right, guys. Okay, if you easy. ever die, Howard, there's going to be, I mean, I'm going to be inconsolable on the program. <laughs> I That's can't enough, wait. That's enough, Tammy Faye. Could you die, Howard? And Jimmy, if you, cr if you die, I'll just go on with my show. Because <laughs> I'm a cold heart. No, I would cry for Jimmy. I love can Jimmy. I Let's one tell thing? Jimmy that you died so we Adam can get that tape. And then tape it. We'll put it on Comedy Central. <laughs> Adam and I were in, on a treacherous plane flight, <laughs> flight to Jamaica once. And it was shortly after we, we started appearing on the program regularly. And uh, we're talking about what would Howard say if this plane went down. And and, I, and we it, we thought it would go something like this. Robin would be doing the news and say, and we lost a couple of friends of the show, Adam Carolla and Jimmy Kim. They went down in the plane, and, and Howard would respond like this. Yeah, those were good guys. What else is in the news? <laughs> <laughs> i got to meet with Don. Wait, I, I just no, hate you to know, think. Here's I, what, yeah. Seriously, here's what we figured out. That on the air, you would goof on us, but candidly, you would goof on us. <laughs> right. But you know something? I hate to think what will happen. Yes. When if if someone like Jimmy JJ Walker, a true talent, dies. Oh, forget yeah. about it. He and, won't be able to work that and night. And Jimmy has to work that yeah, night. Yeah, he won't have he won't be able to work that <laughs> night. It'll, It'll be, be crippled. Less than dynamite evening, that's for sure. <laughs> Jimmy Adam will uh, watch the movie. I hear it's great. Thank you. Thanks. Windy right. City Heat. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. All right. All right. Later. Very good. Bye. Thanks. Night. Bye. Take care. Mr. Stamos here about Mr. John Stamos, who's in nine at the Eugene O'Neill Theater. Star of stage. Is this uh, Uma's gum right here? Oh, did you put it down there? You want to save it? You want to take it home? You want to rub it somewhere? I want, I want, <laughs> to, put it, I want to put it on my ass. Is this hers? It could be. I don't know. A piece you of better gum. hope it's not Beetlejuice's, pal. You're holding it. <laughs> <laughs> Is it in one, here? That gum's been there for like a week, and I, I didn't want to touch it. Oh, no. <laughs> I just oh, picked it up. <laughs> you found my gum. Nice. What is it, Chauncey? Yeah. What? Howard, how's it going? Hey, man. So this is a question for John. John, John. Hey, I'm dying to know what happened with Jenna Elfman. Did she get a bum rap with uh, oh, Nine? Oh, yeah. What happened? She got fired? Well, I th yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, she just, well, it was a lot of singing, you know, and I think it was the first time she was singing, so. What are these people in Hollywood thinking? That they can just come to Broadway? They don't have to sing and dance? Well, she, she's a great what dancer. What happened? I don't she, even know. She was supposed to take over the Jean Krakowski role, which is singing and twirling around on a rope. Jen Elfman. Whole, oh, yeah. yeah. I wish she was no good. They Who's killed her in the press. They announced the other day that she needed more rehearsal. You well, know, that, that was, was true. I mean, she needed. She started later well, than I Well, you're doing okay, aren't you? She started later than, than I did, so, you know. Well, that, <laughs> that, was, a, that was a veil. She's a cool chick. 
the illusion. Veiled the illusion that she couldn't handle it. It's a very hard singing part. You know, Jane won the right, Tony right, for it. Yeah. You know, so it's, uh, but why would she take the role? I think she thought maybe she could do it. And she had moments of, of really great beauty in her voice, but then it just didn't, you know, develop, I think, mm. in time. I read in the paper you were doing the Shun Lee with her. You're taking her out to Shun Lee. You, that's your place. Yeah. Yeah. I, I read you were there, so it looked like you guys were going to work and together, out, and then all yeah. of a sudden now, yeah. so who's going to be the chick that you work with? This girl, um, Sarah, who's fantastic. You know, know, well, the thing is, when they bring on the understudy to do your part, and you're not dead, means you can't do your part. Ooh. Ooh. And no, Jenna's great. She's, have you seen her? She's beautiful. Who? Jenna Elfman. Have you met her? I don't know. She's a fan of yours, actually. She said she, she Would she have sex with me? Probably. Well, then I like her. <laughs> <laughs> Even is she devastated? Is she upset? I, I don't know. Ch Chauncey's trying to stir it up. Yeah, but it? you know what's going on. You, yeah, know, no, she, you know, actually, there. she wasn't. She had a great attitude, and she, you know, I talked to her yesterday, and she said, oh, I'm with you up there, you know, and maybe I'll come in in December, and, you know, she's going to work on it and, you know, see what happens. All right. That means she's not coming back. Right. Thank you. All right, here's what's going to happen. We take a little break. I'm going to march it. As soon as we come back from break, I'm going to march three chicks in here. <laughs> one of them had a one-night stand with you. Oh. <laughs> you got to pick out which one it is. Okay. Juicy. Do I answer questions? Do we do questions? You can ask questions. questions. I'll ask questions, too. We'll ask too. questions, because we don't know who she, what she looks like either. I won't be blindfolded or anything. And it's not no. A no, 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 no. No, we believe you won't even recognize her. <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody called me and said this girl was hammering me and said I was, you know, lousy in bed or something. No, she, she you know, it was one of those things where she expected more, I guess. She expected you to <laughs> You probably finished up real quick. And <laughs> you went to sleep and that was Drunk. that. Told her to leave. Where, how long ago was it? Uh, years and years Four ago. Four years ago. Yeah, all right, let's see what's happening. John Stamos and Nine at the Eugene O'Neill Theater in Manhattan. Tickets can be purchased at the box office or Ticketmaster.com. And then I want to ask you... Uh, you going to come, Robin? You didn't come see me in Cabaret. Right? You didn't ask me to come. You're well, asking me now. I thought you were now, weird about me I then. I, I, I didn't know what you were, you know... What? I'm going to go. I don't know. I want I've you to I've always come. come to see you. I know. That's why you request. But I thought I, there was some weirdness there or something. So I thought, oh, well, I'm not going to. You know. What is nine? What does that mean, nine? It's it's loosely based on Fellini's eight and a half. It's a, oh. you'll, you'll like it. You'll, it's, it's a me wonderful and 13 show. Women. Have you I seen saw it? that movie. Uh, yes, I saw it with uh, Antonio. Yeah. Will you come back? I would definitely oh, I would love back. to have you as my guest. And I'm going. Like I'll yeah. go. But uh, what's the deal? I mean, like, you're in town. Rebecca's in town. Nobody calls you me. Know, no, I did. I, I emailed I mean, you. I mean, but Rebecca doesn't call me? What's she, going on? She hasn't been here. She just got here a few days ago. And she she had a picture in the morning. paper every day now in New York. Well, she comes like in I, just to have the pictures taken. What, I do something wrong? <laughs> no, no, no. She loved, Didn't you guys talk last week? No, I, I stick by her. What, what kind of... What, what, I do, what I do wrong? She loves you. What happened to afraid. this relationship? I think Hold it, hold it a second. Yeah, this do we have to take a break? You think she's afraid of what? Isn't it a break time? No, no, you said you think she's no, afraid. No, no, I think she's a... No, I, no, she's not. I don't, I don't know. You guys she's talk afraid the time. what? Didn't you guys... We did. Hang out? Now I'm all of a sudden persona oh. non grata? No, 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 we've been Finally get a show business friend and... Um, you, you can't call from California? No, we call. We called you on Valentine's Day. We called yeah. you on holidays. We call. We call. I emailed you. You know, my email was down. I got you. You wrote me back, and I was like, yeah. I kept looking every day, like, oh, he hasn't emailed me back, and then I and found then it. I get, and we get tried to get out. together the other day. And no, look, no, what, 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 what is she afraid we of? Love each other. Tell me, finish the sentence. No, no, she's not. She's, she's just, afraid I'll do what? Nothing. Talk about her? No. Jesus Christ! I can't even hold on to any relationship. I know this is another one you've lost. I know. No, 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 no. I screw everything up. <laughs> don't you guys talk on the phone all the time? No. You yes, act you do. as if you don't know what. Well, I don't happen. monitor her phone. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> we're going to take a break. When we come back, let's see if you can recognize a chick you banged. Okay, good. All right, right after right. these words. <laughs> poker. No, seriously, do you like poker? <laughs> you guys asked me to play a few times, and I said I'm not a really good player, and you said, "Great, come bring your money." I love the action, but if you just don't have the time, you can't find partners. You go to PartyPoker.com. It is a fun, safe place to play poker. Yeah? Yeah. And you got That's people. what I need, a safe place. Yeah, you do. <laughs> people from around the world are on there, and oh, it's yeah? free. All right. PartyPoker.com. They always have thousands of players. You can play anytime, anywhere. It's really fun. PartyPoker.com, the right. largest poker room in the world. Party Poker. And you're, you're married to a beautiful woman, Rebecca Romaine Stamos. You don't have time for PartyPoker.com. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. I mean, I don't. You know, on those matinee days when you're between shows. In between, yeah. There you go. Party poker. Just <laughs> download the free software and start playing. Enter the state. The uh, enter this. I, enter this station. Are you oh, still gambling a lot? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry, you're doing a commercial. I just <laughs> want to get through it so I can find out which chick you bang. <laughs> PartyPoker.com, P-A-R-T-Y-P-O-K-E-R.com. Call them at one 206 4659 one 206 4659 Over 10,000 players are playing right now. PartyPoker.com and enter K-Rock 
as the bonus code. The party is just beginning. Another New York's movie. new music alternative. 92.3 K-Rock. Howard Stern. Love him or hate him, there's no question he has a quick mind and a cervic whip. King of all media. Howard Stern. John Stamos is in nine at the Eugene O'Neill Theater in Manhattan. Tickets can be purchased at the box office or at Ticketmaster.com. Tonight on E, porn star Mary Carey, who just lost the gubernatorial election. It was a heartbreaking election for her. Terrible. Yeah. She just lost out to, um, I think, won? Gary Coleman. She came in below Gary Coleman. She got fewer votes. Well, she did beat out a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can we talk about Robin's ass? I did, I, she's uh, amazing. <laughs> Look, hey, did, did you what? Be, be honest once? Yeah, yeah. For once. For once. <laughs> did for once. you? <laughs> well, everyone knows you're a liar. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you bang Demi Moore? When you were working on General Hospital, um, that's a yes. You know, I I, I I swear to you, my dad used to tell a story about c catching us together at some. I, I really don't remember. Was she I, a I, person I, you I, dated? Wow. Well, no, I I, I can't. I, I she's the chick we're what bringing is in here. The problem here. <laughs> she's I, I don't know what to say. I think I, she's I, terrific, I, though, man. I, I mean, she, in her day, I you mean, had to me uh, more. No, I, you know, I don't. No, <laughs> no you know, I must, we did not have sex. And no. We did not. You messed around. We did not have. Uh, uh, I was young. I was 18, 19 or something. But you never were she her lover. What, did you see Robin's ass? <laughs> oh, no, 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 wow. I wasn't. No, I, I, no, no, I, Come I, no, on, no, no, answer no. the question. <laughs> I, I, what do you mean by lover? Like, we, Did I, you guys make love? No. Did you have intercourse? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe he's just, you know. But there's all kinds of... Well, never I know. Well, you fooled around. Let me smell your fingers. Is that what you're saying? No. I see you smelling your fingers, though. What did you get off her? What? <laughs> Did you bum rush her whole? <laughs> yeah. Her whole... Family? Family. All right, whatever. Hey, I, I respect that. I, I, I would just ask her. I don't... I, it was weird. Yeah, like... Weird. We you know, she, was, uh, she was a different person than I think. You know, she what worked, happened? The lights are lost power. Wow. Did she give you crabs? No. no just kidding. <laughs> Did she give somebody crap? No. <laughs> yeah, she would know. What yeah, we have reports. About? Robin, you look hot. Like, I, I mean, I see your beautiful face on the show. Like, you, you, you know, but you, she was just standing. I, she's incredible ass. Well, thank you. Mm, well, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> no, but I didn't. Yeah, you can't take it. He's giving me a Yeah, I don't like it. I'm in love with you. I'm C-blocking. <laughs> I'm C-blocking. Dave, you're on the air. Hey, guys, you, you, you make me wake up in the morning. We make you wake up. Uh, yeah, like my mom did. It's worthwhile to make up, to wake up. Uh, John, I wanted to ask you, what compelled you to buy the Disney, like the old Disneyland sign, and where do you keep it? Yeah, you bought, I read yeah, that too. Yeah, you're doing some wild stuff. Fifteen bidding on things. You spent $15,000 on the sign at, for Disneyland. I think it was more than that. That's a lot of money, yeah. dude. It was what? way more than that. It's the original sign that was there. It's worth a, way, you know. You way, Somebody tried to buy from here, Michael Jackson or somebody. I mean, they oh, already? people want it, yeah. And, and at one point, I think I ran into Michael Eisner and said, that thing's worth, you know, a million dollars. I think you're all kooks. Yeah, we're a little nutty. I mean, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirty thousand dollars. Where's the sign? It's at my house. Like you know, there's a... you you put it up somewhere. I put some of it up. The environmental uh, people weren't weren't too crazy about me putting it on the side of our mountain. Yeah, there, you know, but... side of your what? Mountain. Have you been? Oh, you haven't been out there. Side you? of your mountain? Well, there's a mountain. <laughs> there's mountains. We live... Mount Stamos. You're mumbling. Wait a second. You're, you, you, on the Did side you say of to be more. The side of your mountain. You put up a, the Disneyland sign. Well, there's just a D now as you drive up the. the... No kidding. Yeah. It's weird. Well, you're so hung like up the, on Disneyland, man. No, it's just, uh, I don't know. It's just a thing. I don't, it's better than, you know, it's a hobby. It keeps me out of trouble. I don't All know. right. A hobby. Boy, I'd spend 30 grand. You know better way to spend it. Huh? I'm telling you, I could sell that thing for, you know, 28 tomorrow. You really? You only lose 2,000. <laughs> All right. Uh, you going to do a sitcom next year, I heard? Yeah, I'm supposed to. I don't know how to do it anymore. I mean, I don't know what to do. Well, are you, you got a, like a deal? Yeah, with Brad Gray, the guy who does, you know, Sopranos and. Uh -huh. Why are you? Uh, why are you mumbling? I'm a little yeah, mumbling. Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, soprano. Uh, 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 understating everything. Well, I'm today. just. Uh, I don't know. I'm Did you just get back from here. a tour in Iraq? Yes, we went to Iraq. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just went. <laughs> 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 so happy to be here with you guys. All right, let's find out. Hey, you know hey, how, how much money you getting for those phone ads? Oh my God, on TV, that's they're running those a lot. Yeah, weren't you hammering? hammering no, not okay. I. So I some guy called in, anything. and I said, "Man, if you could get a commercial doing phone ads, right? A you national, a national campaign." But there was a whole run on how my career is in the toilet because I'm doing commercials or something. What? 
<laughs> I simply, I was making the joke that you and Rebecca had flipped All right. roles. But I'm on Broadway Great. now. This is, this is my dream, you know, to be on Broadway. So, uh, Does that pay an extraordinary... Yeah, it's it got to pay like over a million dollars, right? It was, you know, it was more to... People don't... People just think of me as that idiot on Full House. You know, it's been... I don't think of you like that. I know. I think if you was that idiot married to Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> but I think being on those commercials were, you know, I don't know. I, I they come off well, well and then you do an ad lib. They let fine. me just talk, you know, right. so whatever. Your mom but is on there. Did your mom get paid? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah nice. Got it's mom whatever. a job? You know, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm on my, you know, on this other track. Now. Guess how much job? What track mom? is this you're on? <laughs> the track, <laughs> the mumble <laughs> track. The mumble track. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right. Give me more, yeah. Yeah, I'm excited to mumble. 1 800 collects, eh? Give me more, the commercial. Uh, yeah. Disneyland song. Uh, mountain. Yeah. Nine. Nine. <laughs> Robin's ass. Yeah. Well, anyway. Uh, no, it's, we, uh, you know, let she, me bring the girls in. Let me bring right. the girls in. Three women are going to walk in now. One of them made love to you many years ago. You think hey, you recognize her right away or not that's, at all? That's I the one right there. That's Casey. Oh, sorry. Howard, can we a, gamble on this? Oh, wow. Three attractive women, I'll tell you that. I'd be happy to bang all three of you. Pretty good. <laughs> Now, one of these women I can guarantee you had sex with. I'm going to introduce really? well, each. Well, according to her. Do you have any idea looking at them? <laughs> I don't. Here's a guy <laughs> who gets a lot of poontang. Because if I banged well, one well, of you, I'd you recognize remember you. remember it, right? Well, well, so could we ask questions? We We're going to in a minute. Oh, okay. Just relax. This is called Name That Poon. Each one of you, <laughs> each one of these women, these beautiful women, oh, I might add, God. claim to have banged John Stamos. Only one of them is telling the truth. You claim your name is what? I'm Amanda. Amanda. I thought she was going to say I'm a man. I'm a man. <laughs> you claim your name is what? Number two? That's I'm Amy Hayes. Amy Hayes. And you number three? I'm Tara. Tara. Okay. Amanda, Amy, and Tara. All right. Each one of you claims you had sex with John Samuels, and you don't remember. No, no the, the thing is, like... You know, and that's the problem with, with not listening every day. Because people call and they go, oh, they were hammering you. And this girl said you were lousy and bad. And blah, 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 blah. So, like, I, now I have a negative, you know, thing. You know, so I'm trying to... But girl number one, do you think John was lousy in bed when you had sex with him? He was a really good kisser. That's what I can recall. Really good kiss. He really Re I mean, we were really... It was a long time ago. And um, it was my only one night stand. So sure. I should remember it, but we were really drunk. So you claim you kind of don't remember it either. He was really passionate. He was a great kisser. Um, the rest is sort of like hazy. It's a little quick. <laughs> All right, number two. I've ever played. Number two, let's uh, give John a, a chance with you to see if you're, you're the real uh, girl. Yeah, I, I don't... Is John a good kisser? Yeah, and I don't think um, that he was lousy in bed at all. I think it's just one of those things that happened um, spontaneously. It was a party atmosphere. We'd been hanging out for a, a long now you're part of the evening and so it wasn't lousy it was just that we were all a little bit you know when you get drinking and all that yeah, stuff it's yeah, not the yeah, same yeah. as when you're so you were drinking you yeah, yeah. It, there was nothing wrong now with him at all he's a great guy he's handsome everything by that the way, her hair yeah you're her hair right that's where i was going i see sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Good, no. sorry. No, i see you're a very good looking woman but your hair is what an afro <laughs> style yes <laughs> yes Brillo. now you're wearing a hat obviously yeah. All right, and number three, what, do you, what is your story? Do you say that John was a good lover? Yes, and I remember that distinctly because I was in a, a serious relationship before I had met you, and um, it was about three years, and uh, you were actually the first man to ever bring me to that next level. I don't know how, if I can say that. <laughs> oh, right, you can. You. you can say that. Yeah, say it. Uh, believe me, John wishes you picked it in the head. He yeah. was able to give me an orgasm. Wow. So, and I will, I will never forget that. Her first why, now, number one, why, have you, why only a one-night stand with John? I'm just not that kind of girl, and um, I was young. And when What we, was John you're not that kind doing of girl. when you you're met him? I mean, why, how he did was, you um, meet him? Well, we talked about it quite a bit. He was in a, a show on Broadway uh -huh. uh, in New York. Uh -huh. I had just come to New York, and my girlfriends and I were hanging out in a downtown bar. Where was this when he was doing soap operas? No, he was on um, Broadway for How to Succeed in Business. Liar! Right? I was married then. Or I was with Rebecca during that time. Okay, she's out. All right, number two. When did you meet John? Unless, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on now. I'm glad it meant that much. <laughs> so can I ask, I mean, are yeah. they well informed enough to say like where it was and what, I mean, you know, like. Well, what? once they say that, though, you're going to know. Okay, so I won't ask that. Right. Yeah. 
You just tripped up, number yeah. one. Yeah. You, you claim you haven't banged any girls while you've been with Rebecca. <laughs> it was well, 1995. Right. You weren't married. <laughs> no, but I was, I've been with Rebecca for, you know, almost 10 years. Oh. She didn't come up. <laughs> what did come Apparently up? not. But you guys make a great couple. I, I mean, thank you, number one. Yeah, all right. And number two, where <laughs> were you? Number two, where were you? Uh, Houston, Texas. What was John doing there? Uh, he was signing autographs at a classic car hot rod show. Oh, is that God. right, John? He's doing a Me play and Val Kilmer. <laughs> yeah, we were just goofing on Val Kilmer. And I was there. I actually was a part of an exhibit where myself and another girl, we put a car together and took it apart. I see. And that's that, how we met. Does that sound like it might have happened? Well, let's go to number three. All right, number three, go ahead. Where were you? It um, actually took place in L.A., and it was involving a car show. I had worked for a promotional company, and they flew us out there to be car models for the uh, event that was taking place. And you were there signing autographs. And um, Did we talk about being on Broadway? <laughs> well, she, you told her you would be. On, so, do you know the girl yet, or are you having trouble? I think I do, yeah. Which oh, one is it? I think you do. I think number two. Yeah. Number two is right. It is number two. I was going right. to pick number yeah. two. Do you recognize it? It was a long time ago. Yeah. What year was that? Was it? It, it's been at least 10 years. So it, w it would have been, um, and I, as I recall, there was not someone um, serious in your life at that point, meaning I don't think you had a commitment. Did we have fun? Was it? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. see, that's wrong. I never said that you were lousy. Never. They asked me about... Um, the circumstances and we were in a party mode so and I remember it being a very fun evening like just you know running around having a good time I remember being in the lounge and then there was a suite with a party going on maybe recognize you if you were naked it was just a fun evening it was not is that, it, do you have, is that is there a piercing going on there somewhere yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're hot. Where are you pierced? What uh, what what is that shirt? I don't That's know great. if I had that then. <laughs> Where are you pierced? I don't know. Um, which side? Left side. Oh. Left side of your neck.